All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at the free snippet tool that comes in Windows 7 and Windows 10. And this allows you to grab little parts of your screen, like little screenshots, little snippets. Um, to get to the snippet, just click on the icon here, the search icon, and type in SNIP and the snippet tool will come up simply click on that and then when you click on it it'll come up here at the bottom you can right click on it down there and click pin to taskbar it says unpin right now because it's already pinned um, but once you pin it there when you close it uh, it'll always stay there so then you can just click on it to bring it up real quick if you need to grab something so for instance let's say we had this error message and we needed to send it to somebody and so what you can do is just click the new button and just drag around where you want It'll bring it up here in the snippet tool. And the snippet tool is cool because you can, at this point, you can save it as a JPEG, as a picture, or a PNG. You can email it. Um, you can print it. And one of my favorite things is to mark on it. And up here, they have the pins. They have a highlighter. My favorite one is it uses the pin. And the normal pin is um, really small. Uh, uh, so I don't like, I normally don't ever use that one. What I do use is the, um, if you click that down arrow, you can do custom pin. And right here, you can customize it. So I always like to do red, thick point, and round. Uh, so it's really easy to see when you write on stuff. So you can see how big it is. So then you can just make a little marks on it. And then people pretty much can't miss what you're uh, trying to show them. You could put like a one or a two. Um, and then at that point, you can just click the uh, button right here to copy it, or you can uh, click copy right here, or you can do control C. And now it's copied in the memory. And then you can go over it, um, to your email program or wherever you want to put it and simply paste it in there. You can right click and, and click paste there. Um, or you can do on the uh, keyboard, you can hold down the control, the left control key and then press the V key. And that's the shortcut key. Those are the ones that most people use and uh, just paste it in there. And so real easy to use. Now, let's say that you were in a predicament where you needed to get a screenshot of something that you can't just get with the uh, snipping tool where you can just drag around it. Uh, so then at that point, what you'd have to do is like, let's say, for instance, you were trying to get this menu right here and you wanted to send like something in this menu to someone. Well, if you open up the menu and you click new, well, you can see the menu is going to go away. So that's not going to work. You aren't going to be able to use Snippet for that. But you can definitely, there's an easy way to do it. So just open up the menu. And on the keyboard, um, in the top right-hand corner, you'll see a key that says uh, Print Screen. Or it may be abbreviated. It may say P-R-T-S-C-R, something like that. It'll Almost all computers have the Print Screen button. Um, so all you do is simply press the Print Screen button. And it looks like nothing's happened. But what has happened is it has saved it in the memory. It's taken a screenshot of everything and saved it in the memory. Um, so then at that point, you need to put it somewhere to be able to grab it. So you can type in uh, Paint. It's another free program that comes standard with Windows. And once you type Paint, just click on it. And, and you'll have the screen here. And then at that point, you just want to paste it in. You can either up here use the toolbar and click Paste here. Or you can see where it tells you you can do Control V as a shortcut key. So we're going to do Control V. You can do it either way. And now it's going to paste it in there. And then you would just scroll over here. And there's the menu. So then at that point, you just grab your snippet tool again. And grab the menu part that you need. That simple. And then you can make a markup on it like, hey, this is the icon I'm looking for or something like that. And again, you could just copy it right here. You can do edit, copy, and then go back into your um, into Word or your email program or wherever you're going to put this and then um, paste it in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're going to delete this old one out of here and then we'll paste our new one in right there. So it works perfect. Now, there's so much more you can do with the snippet tools and then especially if you bring in uh, paint.net with it. Uh, so if you've ever heard of Photoshop, well, this is the free version, uh, maybe not as robust as Fro Photoshop, but it's definitely a step of, above the free paint one that comes standard with Windows. This one you actually have to download. You can download it from the Windows Store or you can get it off the Internet. It's been around for a long time. It's a very robust, awesome program um, for manipulating photos and and. Ha the good thing about it compared to, let's say, uh, the free paint program is this doesn't have layers. So you can't stack layers on top of each other. Um, and this one does. So if you'd like to hear a tutorial on the paint.net, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I would be more than glad to give you a tutorial. I've been using it for a long time. I really love it. Um, so if you have any questions about the snippet tool or taking print screens, let me know. Excellent tool. Uh, I work in the IT department. I use it uh, quite a bit, uh, snipping information for people and sending it.
All right. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.